Today I'd like to uh, introduce you to a new product that uh, has just been developed at KBMO Diagnostics. It's a rapid test that measures uh, antibodies against food, foods. Uh, it has a control protein and it measures eggs, milk, and wheat uh, using a rapid test format. So this is the kit that um, you'll be receiving and it comes complete with all the components that you need to run the test. Uh, a small bag that contains various components that you'll need. Simple instructions to take a finger stick and run the test, as well as a QR code that will uh, also uh, enable you to uh, look at this video, as well as some information on the back on how to interpret the test. The test device is in a foil pouch and what you'll do is you'll simply open this pouch. The uh, test is inside, and with the simple instructions that are included, you'll be able to run the test. The first thing you want to do is open the biohazard bag and remove the contents. Now, you should have three vials, alcohol wipes, a Band-Aid, and a lancet. Make sure all the components are available. The first thing you'll do is open the foil pouch and remove the rapid test device. Set the device on a level surface and add the contents of vial one to the red sample well and let it flow through. Select the finger and then wipe it with an alcohol pad and then use the blue lancet that's included in the kit, which is a self-activated lancet. You press firmly against the side of the finger Open vial two, then go ahead and lance the side of the finger. Keep the hand below your heart so you get good blood flow and gently massage the finger so that you can get one free falling drop of blood into the container, which is vial number two. Then gently recap the vial, invert three or four times and then this will lyse the blood cells and allow it to go through the filter of the red cup. That's it, then apply the band-aid to the side of the finger. Then add the contents of vial two containing the blood sample into the red sample well and it will take about two or three minutes generally for the sample to flow through the membrane and contact the food antigens which are underneath the red sample cup. Then once the sample has uh, gone through the uh, red sample cup, twist the cup counterclockwise and gently remove it from the device. Now you can div, div, um, dispose of the red sample cup. It's no longer needed. Okay. Once the sample has gone completely through the sample cup and it's been removed, empty the contents of vial three into the sample well and let it flow through. This will take oh, at least two minutes. During this time, you'll see spots start to appear on the membrane. At 12 o'clock, you should see a dark red spot, which is a control spot. This should always appear on the device, otherwise the test would be invalid. This will be the first spot to appear. You can see at 12 o'clock, the control spot 
is starting to appear so that you know that you added the sample and the test is functioning properly. Next we'll look at egg which is at 3 o'clock, milk which is at 6 o'clock, and wheat which is at 9 o'clock. And if spots appear at any of those locations the patient has IgG antibodies for that particular food. As you can see, a spot is starting to appear at 3 o'clock, so this individual is sensitive to egg. You can see another spot starting to appear at 6 o'clock, which means the patient is sensitive to egg as well. just wait for the fluid to go completely through the membrane. A spot is not appearing at the location for wheat at 9 o'clock so the, the individual is negative for wheat. So when you look at this device it's run correctly you have a control spot and the patient is sensitive to egg and milk. The test is now complete.